guys, welcome back. I am a little bit late at starting this. So current situation is we're at the workshop. It's absolutely pissing down outside. But as you can see there, I've literally just started to pack the van as we are heading to Spain to go testing for quite a bit of December really. We're gonna go out and back a few times and we're going out to bike promotions to do the track days with them guys. Been with them for quite a few years now. It's always run well in a good event and stuff, so it's, there's no hassle. You literally turn up and um, everything's run like clockwork, and it goes goes good. So we're going to try and do something like 10, 10 days riding in total. Yeah, it's just I wouldn't normally do any of this. Oh Neil, taking your top off. I, I've turned the camera around. Only there's a bike in here that I don't want to get on the camera yet. So we've got some new super short bikes, but we're going to do a separate vlog about that. Yeah, so I wouldn't normally ride this much in December, or probably in December at all. Only with the current situation of the injury and stuff, and that's the plan. We want to try and get a load of bike time in before then actually go and test and, and go and test them properly. So yeah, going to load, we're going to try and fit. Oh, how do I get this? All this stuff into the back of a transit van and then we're leaving first thing tomorrow morning so that is the plan this vlog is going to be about going to spain going testing and all the antics that come in between that i don't know we'll probably do more vlogs when we're out there and everything should be a few funny ones coming up and neil might even be in a good mood but i can't guarantee that I can't why are you shaking your head at neil you've been as grumpy as anything this morning we can't get this bike in the video so i have to keep the camera around this way it's got some new toys look Got no idea how it works. Let's record now. I'll hold it out the front of the screen and see if we can get it properly. Oh, he's look out his f***ing mirror. Neil, who, he doesn't give a f*** if you're recording. Leo, look at the camera, you can't see anything. No, you can't see anything. Give me that. How cool is this? Hey, Julie. That's cool as you were standing up on your road. The best picture's on the back. My heart beat in rivers. Good Laurie. Fantastic Laurie Lee. Real road racers. Real road racers. Not like who do you? <laughs> Real road racers. Yeah, a little like maybe an Irish with a leopard car than that was. Right, it's now the next day. We are currently sitting at I can never remember the name of it. Aye, but what's the place called? The Euro Tunnel. Folkestone. Folkestone. We're sat at Folkestone. Neil's raging, right? Because we've come the whole way through security. And he was, he, he likes miserable, no, rude French people. And both French people he spoke to so far have been ever so polite. It's ruined his day. But yeah, we're just sitting now on the tunnel. We were a little bit late for our crossing, so we're trying to talk our way on to the being early for the next one. But we're just going to have to see what happens. The drive down's been okay. Solid five hours. Five hours, six hours. Something like that, we set off at half six, it's just after dinner time now. So we've only got another, I think it said on my sat nav, one day, one hour, I'm area from my house, so yeah, that's the plan so far. All this vlog's full of is you doing a shitty fake Irish accent. Is it? I'm good. Go on. Her, her, her. <laughs> we are in front of 45, 700. Have you learned anything? That's alright, that's all I needed to know. Pulled you out of the shit again, Anna. I was talking to you, Anna. Yeah, what? I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, we'd have had none again, would we? Oh, what's going on there? Depends on what kind of look at it. Right, so we're on the train now. I wanted to explain why we didn't have a vlog out last week. I was actually a little bit too busy, working really hard. <laughs> No, I was doing a few days video content for actual Ashcourt. So they've got their own channel on YouTube. So go check that out, Ashcourt Group. I think it's Ashcourt Group. No, it won't be .com. Yeah, just type Ashcourt Group into YouTube. Go give them a follow. We had a mega couple of days driving some massive machines that I would never normally be allowed into. So yeah, that's gonna be coming out in the next few weeks. So give them a follow and then you'll see that straight away. Then we were down at the chat show with Whitam which you don't really want to bring the camera to. And then I was at the bike show as well at the NEC. So that's why there hasn't been a vlog last week. If Neil was any use, he would have obviously took the old vlog seriously. Do you think you'll set your own channel up, Neil? I don't think so. Why, you, just took, you couldn't hack the fame? No. Or all the money? It's the money, I don't need it. <laughs> you what, you've got too much money? There you go, it's on camera. He's rich. 
just on the train now and then what are we going to do we're going to drive to like i'm saying 11 12 o'clock tonight maybe Shall we go? get a hotel we used to drive right through but it's just actually then for the next couple of days off drive down as far as we can in france get somewhere to sleep for the night get i don't know six hours seven hours sleep and then set off let's see how we go oh it looks a bit blurry what's the light right quick update it's now 20 past seven, Neil's finally decided to do some to the driving. <laughs> but we've had an absolute nightmare. Until like an hour before Paris, we were using my, I don't know why it's going all blurry. Yeah. Until an hour before Paris, we were using my phone and then Neil decided to brack out. Neil decided to brack out his sat nav from fucking 1997, which has never been updated. He was like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, this has took me down here 50 million times. So what happened in Paris, Neil? There was a lot of roadworks. No, what happened in Paris? What was that? Did it? Fuck, we went. We seen the Eiffel Tower and the well, shot. We saw the Champs the Eiffel Tower. Basically, but it got us the sat nav is getting fucked in the bin. Take one. It's going in the bin this trip. Piece of shit. Yeah, it'll get an update. It needs right. putting in a museum. Anyway, we're still driving. We're gonna drive till about 11 or 12 tonight. Your thing doesn't even tell you how many miles. I don't wanna check my phone. We've still got... So over. Just over a thousand miles to go. Easy. You happy, Neil? Yeah. Neil's happy. Windy handle. Some description. Not end well. Uh. Oh, I love a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> We've just had a fucking puncture. Literally an hour after being in the service or whatever. So it's now quarter to nine and we're literally on the side of a quite a busy main road. We managed to get pulled over, but yeah, it was not. Not very, uh, not what we wanted, Neil was. <laughs> not really. We've got the spare wheel on now and we're on the road again an hour later. Right, it's 20 past 12. We've got to some sort of a 50 euro self check in. B&B, I'll do the job, get some kit, and uh, see you guys in the morning. She's absolutely, oh, full size bath. What? Got full size bath and everything, Neil. Bit of art on the wall. Actually, good night this time. That's the end of that. Half six. We've slept for six hours. We're back on the back on the road again, just to try and get out of town and stuff before the traffic gets too bad. Let's go. Still a bit sleep, I think. Neil's going to be doing the first part of the driving. May have another sneaky snooze. Progression post every every hour to see how many biscuits we eat. <laughs> You're in denial. Many of you had now, Neil. <laughs> Half a pack of God. What in 25 minutes? Mm. What? Mm. Oh my God. Two hours we've been driving. Balls, two hours. Quick update, Neil's nearly had half a pack of biscuits in 25 minutes. Well, after two days of driving, we're here. Two days of driving down, Neil. I obviously did 97% of the driving. Neil did the rest. Right, it's now the next morning. We are... Uh, 
we've got up, had breakfast, all that jazz. We're just at the fill station beside the track, but have a look out here. It is absolutely blowing a gale, which I don't know. I've, I've been here quite a few times. I've never known it like this. So yeah, I don't know what the plan's going to be this morning. Really, I I still obviously want to ride. Normally, if you were like testing things and stuff, you like oh you can't tell anything in the wind, so it's a waste of time. But because we are actually here to test me <laughs> and to get me back in shape, I'm not really that bothered. As long as it's safe, I'm not really that bothered what the conditions are. We just want to ride round and get some uh, time on the bike. So that's the plan. So yeah, we're going to get to the track now, get everything unloaded, get set up, and see see what the situation is. But I'm not gonna lie, I, I slept okay last night. I feel a bit groggy, but I'm I'm pretty excited to to get back out on my bike. It's like since before the north, well, the northwest since I've rode a big bike. Even though we've rode the little Aprilia a couple of times, yes, we've got the stock Fireblade with us here. So it's the first time I've ride, riding a big bike for a long time. Yeah, really excited. Managed to get Neil out of the van to fill the fuel drums up. Look at that. Can I zoom in on? Him? First bit of work he's done. Oh, he looks happy, doesn't he? <laughs> Neil, what happens if you blow away? If I blow away, no, it's really not that bad. <laughs> Take some stopping, wouldn't you? Let's get a cafe con leche before we do anything, just to make a plan. Yeah? Good thinking. Oh yes. Oh yes. Cafe con leche. No, 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 espresso. What? Espresso. Yeah. You, know, you do too much work when you have one of them. Though. Right. So because of the wind, nothing's happening for the first couple of hours. Yeah. Absolutely. Full of bikes. Bikes everywhere. All set up. Ready to go. Everything ready to rock. Neil is actually on top form after having his uh, after having his coffee. So yeah, I'm just gonna faff around a bit this morning and get leathers out and stuff. I actually got something quite cool. The leathers that I've got with me were actually delivered to the Northwest on the day that I went to the hospital. So I've never actually wore them. And a few weeks ago, I couldn't figure out where they were or anything, but the guys at RST had actually took them back. So I'd never seen them got used or anything. So I said, I might as well take them here so they actually end up getting used. So yeah, I'm gonna use a brand new suit. Thank you from RST for the next couple of days. Well, for the whole time we're out in Spain, actually, because things are probably gonna get changed for next year, suit design and stuff. So I just don't want it to get wasted. Um, thanks as always to the guys at RST. I think there's even sand dust on the lens of the camera. The current situation, <laughs> like on the the conditions and what's happening today. Conditions are shit. We're not doing anything. Yeah, you, know, you still need to get wages. You need to lay. <laughs> Say you've been really busy. I'll do it for free. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. Oh, back on the blue. Gas. She's running two stroke. Blue gas. Right. So, quick update. The wind is not gone down any. So we've just been into the office and they've cancelled it for the day because it's not giving it to go away. So come all this way, waited to get a go on my bike. It's not happening. So we're gonna come back tomorrow morning and have a take two. Day two now, so we're gonna have another go at uh, actually getting out on some motorbikes. You reckon, Neil? What's the chances looking like? Well, that's gonna be pretty hard because you've only got one motorbike, so <laughs> yeah, one of them else might, yeah. All oh, right, yeah. Well, at least there's not a sandstorm like what there was yesterday. There's no wind. It's a bit colder today. It's only like four or five degrees. So, it well, it's a lot colder than yesterday. But first things first, though, we're going to have a cafe con leche and a bit of chocolate. Sounds good to me. Anything you want to say, Christy? Mm. <laughs> You'll say <set> it for me. <laughs> You tell them that if they want to get actual real good content, they can watch your channel. Is my hair alright? Do they do kid sizes in these boots? Yeah, that's, that's what we're representing. We work off the basis that we're average height for a 14 year old boy.
The Ducati in front of him blew up. Yeah. I, I've not seen him come through. Yeah, he came through. He was right behind the guy. I know. And he knew about it. He didn't see the flag. Yeah. Right guys, that's it for this week's vlog. Thanks as always for watching. Tune in next week and then we're going to get more of the footage of riding the bike, what's happening to the track, how we got on, how my body coping, all them things. We've got loads of the loads of the Insta 360 cameras and stuff here. So we're going to try front, back, maybe inside the helmet, loads of different angles, anything else you can think of. Please chuck it in the comments below. And like always, please like and subscribe. Go we'll say bye, Neil. Sorry guys, it's too busy, some leaving.